they're on us. It's private property, boss. Please leave. Please, because it's private property. Thank you. Well, I think it's working. We're raising awareness of this subject, of what's going on in the channel, and the consequences of all these people arriving. YouGov poll out this morning showing 73% of people are concerned, or very concerned, about people coming to the UK across the channel. Interestingly, amongst Conservative voters, that figure reaches 97%. So people are aware of what's going on. Today is uh, day 11 of of, of migrants coming into Dover. That's a record for continuous days. Looks like since last Tuesday, Wednesday, about a thousand people perhaps, although the Home Office um, are very reluctant now to give us any daily figures whatsoever. Leading the charge for the government in terms of criticism of all of this is, of course, the Home Secretary, Priti Patel. She has said what is happening in the channel isn't just unacceptable, she said that it's shameful. She, earlier this week, announcing that the big RAF plane would be in the channel, that the Royal Navy was being called in. She's appointed a new guy, a former Royal Marine, to take charge of the whole thing. He's head of clandestine operations. Uh, and yet, every day, we're seeing these little dinghies landing on our beaches in Kent. They're getting all the way through, some of them. But what may cause Pretty Patel a problem isn't just that the tough talk is leading to, at the moment, no action and no change at all. But I think she may be about to get some criticism from her own constituents. I'm here in Essex today. We're in the Witham constituency, which of course is Pretty Patel's constituency in Parliament. And I was given a tip-off overnight at the Riven Hall Hotel here, a hotel that had been closed during COVID, but on its website announced it was reopening on the 3rd of August and yet earlier on I tried to book a room they're full not full just for now they're full for the rest of the year so what it looks like is not just the Midlands and the North anymore but because of the sheer volume of people we're having to accommodate increasingly it looks like hotels in the southern part of England are also filling up and this one appears to be in Pretty Patel's own constituency if we're about to find out uh, that that is correct, if we do find out that is correct, uh, she's going to have some real questions, I suspect, to answer to her own constituents, because this could prove a massive embarrassment for the Home Secretary. <coughs> and there we are, the Riven Hall Hotel. Non-residents, welcome. Would you rather me? Yeah, go on. This is, this is... OK, so the hotel is full. Um, but you can see there's a lot of people here, an awful lot of people here. There's a manager, he spotted me. It's full. Hello. You all right? Good, good. We were told it was closed, it looks full. Can we go there? There's nobody about. Hello. 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 So you you reopened on the third of oh, August. Oh, you well, your website says you reopened on the third. Yes, sir. But you're now completely full. Yes, sir. When, when's the earliest available room? At the moment, the end of the month, next month. <coughs> the end of next month. End of okay. All right. Well, we'll try and book them. Okay. I'm going to go online right now and have a go. Thank you. Thank, thank you. They're expecting us, aren't they? Yeah, no, they've, they've cleared them out. Come on, we're going to go. Yeah, I know, but they're on us. It's private property, boss. Please leave. Please, because it's private property. Thank you. Well, the management there were not very pleased to see us, were they? Um, chap ushering us out and slamming the door. Um, and I just, just asked, you know, when was the next available date? She said after the end of September. So I've had a go here. And the Riven Hall Hotel website says, sorry, we don't know when this property is available next. So, you know, not only are they told, uh, they're told not to talk to us, but when they do talk to us, they're not telling us the truth. Um, and yeah, 
I thought it, I really did think to begin with it was the Midlands and the North because that was where all the information came in from from the public. Um, and now we can see it's now happening in Leafy Essex in Pretty Patel, the Home Secretary's own constituency, the person who's been the most vocal and the most critical of what is going on in the English Channel. And yet here it is on her, on her doorstep, but more significantly on her constituents' doorstep. So we'll now go out and try and talk to one or two of them. Now, this hotel has been filled up very, very recently, and so not many residents here in Whitham know about it. But I found a man who does know about it. Mark, when did you find out about this? I found out about it yesterday. I think my father-in-law sent me a video of someone driving down there just to see for themselves. She does, and I quite like her in many ways, you know, she does talk the talk on, you know, the channel crossings, migration, yeah. all the rest of it. Yeah. I mean... Did you support her at the last election? Yeah, I did, yeah. And how do you feel about the fact that she, of all people, who's been criticising what's going on in the channel, yet not able to stop it, but it's in her constituency? Well, I'm quite disgusted with that, really, Nigel. That's why I got in touch with her, because it's, as it's her constituency, I thought that she would, you know, definitely clamp down on it. If she's trying to disguise the fact that it's happening here, was I'm not sure if she knows about it, which I'm guessing she does. <laughs> Have you got a message for your MP? Well... Pre, what's going on really what's, you know can we can we get this sorted out sooner rather than later before it gets you know too much of a, a muddle to actually get it sorted do you know it's quite interesting what he just said to me what Mark just said to me it's kind of what I get all over the country can we please get this sorted and I think the government really needs to get a grip on this and very very quickly communities like this are not thrilled about what's going on yeah, no, I think once this gets out uh, here in Wissam and all the villages around, I think she's going to have some. I think she's going to have some real pressure on her. Oh, definitely, yeah. I really do. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, of course you can, mate. Just as I say, you could. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Good. Well, once again, our investigation has shown that members of the public are telling us the truth when they send in their emails. So please, please, please keep sending in your stories. This one, I think, has got a bit more significance because it is Pretty Patel's own constituency. I'm absolutely certain many of her constituents will not be happy about this at all. I'm doing my best to get the truth out, to get a proper debate going in this country. So please, please share this video.